This is the smart CCTV camera. It's a home automation surveillance camera that helps you keep track of your valuable assets and many more. Featuring the new Raspberry Pi high quality camera, we're able to make the most of face recognition. So you know who's at the door, as well as adding multiple profiles, whether it's a friend or a stranger. It can be placed indoors or on your front porch. With this dedicated monitor, you can interact with who's at the door. You can also control home appliances. But that's not only it. You can also view those blind spots and access a live stream, whether you're indoors or outdoors. Oh, and if you're not at home, you'll be notified who turned up at your door today. Well, that's enough from me. In this video, we're gonna find out how to build one with the Raspberry Pi 4 and a new Raspberry Pi high quality camera. Let's go somewhere a bit more comfortable. Can you let me in? Right, before we start, if you like this type of content, let me know by smashing a like button. Also, if you're new here, subscribe. Welcome. Let's beat this YouTube algorithm by leaving a comment. Also, turn on post notifications to keep you updated on the latest release. Thanks for subscribing. Let's see where we can take this. This is the overview of what we're going to cover. List of parts. The bare essentials you'll need is a Raspberry Pi 4, the 4 gig version, a camera enclosure, a micro SD card, a Raspberry Pi 4 charger, make sure it's USB-C, the new high quality Raspberry Pi camera and its associated 6mm lens, and for the display, a Raspberry Pi 3, a micro SD, the 7 inch display which is a touchscreen interactive, a Pi 3 charger, a HDMI cable and a micro USB to power the 7 inch display. Links to the part are in the description below. How it works, the theory. The bare essentials we need to complete the camera build is a camera module and a Raspberry Pi. Simply insert the camera module into the camera port of the Raspberry Pi to complete the build. Here's a live stream demo of the Pi 4 with the wide angle camera lens. One question. Unlike normal CCTV cameras, how can we view the live stream on other devices? Well, it turns out this is the answer. We're capturing live footage from the camera build and using flask to create a live stream to our client devices, whether it's your Pi or your mobile phone. Devices connected to the same network of the camera build will also be able to visit the URL and see the live footage of the stream. So, you may be wondering, how does this compare with the version 2.1 camera module? For starters, it's definitely got a wider viewing angle and the ability to switch out camera lenses for a higher resolution. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Now, when you're making a smart CCTV camera, security is one of the most important things to keep in mind. And that's why today's video is brought to you by... Assembly of parts, the camera build. Shopping around, the goal was to find a plastic CCTV camera. And we found one. Now, the advantage of a plastic CCTV camera is that it could be easily broken apart for its enclosure. In this build, you can simply open it by twisting the cap open. It looks like this one featured night vision capabilities with his IR LED ring. You can probably use this for later. 
Now, the original colour was quite obvious. I wanted something a bit more stealthier. This was spray painted in matte black. I was pretty pleased with the look. Some holes were drilled in advance to thread in the ribbon cable of the camera lens. This was eventually screwed in and luckily for this enclosure, the dimensions fit. This camera build is now being slowly reassembled and put back into the base enclosure. Here's the final build of it. So you may be wondering, that's cool and all, but how do we make this camera rotate? To do this, we'll be using a servo motor, which is really good for accurate movement. This is the current setup of the wires. We'll be soldering these onto female pins and adding them to the Raspberry Pi header. To do this, we're just going to strip the wires and solder them onto the female header pins. We're going to add some electrical wires to avoid any short circuits. The servo motor also has a screw whereby we can drill a hole through the camera and screw it right through. This servo motor is going to cause the camera to be able to move with precise precision. So now we're just reassembling everything back together with the servo motor. This is the type of movement we'll expect from the servo motor. Let's plug the wires in. The three pins used are the 5 volt ground and the GPIO pin. Ensure that the PWM wire of the servo is set at pin 11 and 5 volt and ground respectively. We're going to use a CCTV camera stand enclosure to tuck the Raspberry Pi in. Luckily for this one, it offers good ventilation. We're now going to plug in our micro SD card with pre-installed Raspbian OS. If you're unfamiliar with this process, the previous video of the smart mirror details this. And there you have it, we've completed the camera build of the smart CCTV. The touchscreen interactive. Now this part of the video is pretty optional, but it's nice to have its own dedicated monitor for the smart CCTV web stream. In order to do this, we're going to have some wooden planks to build a case. The dimensions are given. So once assembled, this was painted black and some interior varnish was applied to give it a nice shiny finish. Now to assemble the display. These are the current ports we'll be using. We're going to be using some nice L-shaped HDMI connectors to keep it nice and compact. The Raspberry Pi case was also assembled on top. Next up, we're going to have to power the 7 inch display using a micro USB. The power will be provided by the Raspberry Pi itself. Now we're using another L connector to keep it nice and compact. And we're using a HDMI cable to connect the Raspberry Pi to the display. Lastly, we're going to plug in the micro USB power supply. This is all going to be assembled in this case. It's good to drill some holes for ventilation 
as the Raspberry Pi does get quite warm over time. Lastly, we're going to add the cover to finish the whole build all together. Now, going back to your camera build, let's install the face recognition and the DLib library. So plug in your Pi and let's get to the software build. So we've logged in remotely via VNC. The first thing we want to do is complete the setup and make sure it has internet access. Next up, we're going to go into the Raspberry and config and make sure that the camera port is enabled. This will require a reboot. Once rebooted, we can do a quick check to make sure that the camera port is working and we can take a picture. This is the current output I've got. If it's too blurry, you can adjust the camera lens to make it more sharper. Right, we're now good to download the DLib library dependencies and the face recognition library. You can find the DLib library dependencies on our site. This is pretty much the updated DLib library dependencies based on the face recognition library for the Raspberry Pi 4. All credits goes to this repo. What we're going to do now is now copy and paste the specific library dependencies. You'll find that most of these library dependencies may be already installed, but this is just in case. Now, this process took roughly around 40 minutes to install on the Raspberry Pi 4, but for other models, this can take longer. The next part, we're going to increase the swap size from 100 to 1024 so we can help with the installation of the DLib library. Once installed, we're going to decrease the swap size back from 1024 to 100. We're now installing the supporting DLib libraries. And finally, the face recognition library. Once installed, we can see the DLib library in our directory. If we click into it and we go into build, we can see the face recognition library also there. The next part of this video, we're going to set up the smart CCTV. So we're going to head off to the repo. And as always, you can find more information in the description below. We're now going to git clone the repo to our directory. We can do this by opening the terminal window and git cloning and adding the GitHub repo URL. Once done, we'll be able to see the smart CCTV camera repo in our directory. You'll see a series of files in the directory. The main.py file is what will start the web stream via Flask. Inside the profiles folder, this is where you'll upload your profile faces so they can be recognized via the facial recognition library. Here are some examples that are already in the folder. And here's the test. We're now going to open the main.py file, which is a Python code, which allows for the web stream. The main.py file relies on the camera file as well as other files within the directory also. Now switch into a device on the same network and type in the IP. We're now able to see the live web stream as well as control the motor 
and we got face recognition. Hey, you made it to the end. Great. If you like this type of content, you may enjoy our building process and behind the scenes that could be seen on the Instagram channel. Smart Builds, link below. Peace.